Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 13 3. I actually friend, have enough. We meet again. Yes, he's safe for now. I actually have enough both. medicine to heal this damn bird. Chocobull. Alright, here. That's what I was confusing the whatever the plant was with this thing. Anyway. Take it and now it's now it's restored to riding condition. Such a resilient animal. Will he be all right? Hmm. Let's have a look. <laughs> yes, he's doing much better. Healthy enough to be ridden, I'd say. He's on the way to a complete recovery. But you'll need to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh -huh. Ah, I must say, he truly is a splendid specimen. I've spent a hundred years caring for chocobos, and I feel as if it were all preparing me for this moment. Thank you. So I rescued the bird. You can ride upon the back of your white chocobo to move around the wildlands. Chocobos run at about the same speed that lightning can achieve by dashing, but riding a chocobo will not reduce your action gauge. You'll be able to run one end of the wilderness to the other without any repercussions. RB is attack. B is jump. Lightning automatically climbs off her steed when talking to people or during other events. You can also give the white choke the secret name. I don't care about that. What I do care about is this sort of thing. When you are riding the chocobo or near him, you'll be able to fight together. The actions that the chocobo can take during battle differ based upon the strength of his bond with lightning. If you take good care of your chocobo, he'll grow to be a powerful ally. Your bond, your bond with your chocobo and its abilities. Level 1 pecks continuously at enemies. He restores some HP to his mistress when she's in a pinch. Level 2 strikes at weaknesses using first tier elemental magic. He can strengthen his mistress with buffs and restore HP to mistress when she's in a pinch. Level 3 he strikes at weaknesses using third tier elemental magic. He restores a great deal of HP when she's in a pinch. Oh wait, it's RB, right? Or LB. Now that you've nursed the Chocobo back to health, why not take him for a ride? You can explore the wildlands together. Is this really the, the riding theme? Well, let's head to Arias Village. Don't hold on. Let's see how Light this works. Shadow dance together. Okay, well, at least the bird is helping me a little bit. And, uh, I still have my, uh, I still have my, uh, my snow abilities. Oh, right. We will be reborn. Attack, attack, and we'll just. I should probably get Thundara back. Uh, hold on.
Where's Thundera? Come on. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. What was... Okay, Aurora. Well, let's travel to, um... Yeah, we'll travel to this village. Beyond the hill, you'll find yourself in the farming village of Arius. Welcome to our village. Arius is its name, and it's home to the finest sheep in the Wildlands. You haven't heard of our sheep? <laughs> well, that's all right, I suppose. Not everyone has. If there's anything you want to know, about sheep or otherwise, you just ask me. Except, I charge a fee for every question. But I guess I could offer you a special deal. One million gil. How does that sound? If you don't like it, then scram! <laughs> it's a joke, sweetie. I do it to all our visitors. It makes them feel like part of the Arius family. <laughs> hey there. What do you want to speak to me about? You've seen our sheep. What do you think? Don't you think they're totally adorable? Because I do. Do you know Dr. Sheep? He's the one who looks after the flock. To be honest, he is a bit flaky, but a genius when it comes to sheep. You know, I completely forgot what his real name is. For all their virtues, fuzzy sheep are a bit high strung. One whiff of danger and they're off. Yes, it is funny to see them scattering in a panic, but they're very valuable, so please don't tease them. Do you know about our Dr. Sheep? He's the Wildlands resident expert on fuzzy sheep. You don't have anything. Wait, wait, oh, blast your fuzzy hides. Where are you going? Come back, please. This is a calamity. What shall I do? What shall I do? Having some trouble? Trouble? I'd say. Some of my flock has fled. They've never done this before. What set them off? And of all the times for it to happen, a disaster, I say. Let me get this straight. It's my fault your sheep ran off, and so it's my job to bring them back? Well, I realize you meant no harm, of course, but yes, if you're volunteering, please bring my sheep back! Oh boy. Well, what do they look like? Three in total, and you'll know them when you see them. They were raised on my own patented formula and grow much larger than normal sheep. It will be a simple matter to give them a scare and drive them back home where they belong. Do this for me and I will be most grateful. And I will offer you a special reward as thanks. I'll look forward to it. You should, because it will be in the form of my world-famous fuzzy sheep milk. It's no ordinary milk, let me tell you. Packed with nutrients, creamy and delightful it is. And with three sheep, there'll be a lot of it. Use your weapon to scare them back into the pen. Uh, okay.
Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck. Go the other way. Stop going that way. Also, these sheep didn't even go far, dude. Like, just get off, get out of the pen, and blur and get them back yourself, dude. Can you? Really not get around the damn table. I guess not. There we go. Why can't? Oh, you motherfucker. Hey! Get in there. What? Oh, you piece of shit. Get in there. I... I It? I don't know. Why can't I talk to him? Is this a glitch? Why can't I talk to you? I did what I was supposed to. In the meantime, I'm gonna look ah, up why I can't wizard. talk to him. Might I have a word? I consider myself an expert in the culinary arts. That's cooking food to you. <laughs> but I have not been able to practice my true skill these many years. My master taught me his greatest recipes, but together we only made them but one time. Now the world stands on the edge of destruction, and I fear I will never make them again. I'd like to help, but... About the only dish I can cook is behemoth steak on a campfire. What I need is much simpler than that. I require only a few small but vital ingredients. Which you can't find. Exactement. Especially in this day and age. I find any, I'll bring them to you. Mademoiselle, merci beaucoup. With those ingredients, I'll once again be able to craft the masterpieces of my forebears. All right, well... Thank you so much. Have you tried our sheep? 
You'll leave with a smile. Okay, I can That's talk to you one. now. On behalf of my sheep, I thank you. As promised, I present you with my sheep milk, the likes of which you won't find anywhere else. Just have to milk them. Hang on. There you go. Go on, take it. It's all for you. I tell you, if you hadn't found them, it would have been years of research down the drain. Okay, so you're a scientist then, not just a sheep farmer? Yes, exactly. Sheep's milk. That's my specialty. I carefully selected wild specimens and bred them for generations. I fed them a special formula I've refined over the decades, caring for them night and day. At long last, I had the fine creamy milk I sought. And now I have the inestimable honor presenting the fruit of my labor to you, the one chosen by the Angel of Valhalla. Chosen by the Angel, huh? So, what makes you think that's me? Oh, I can put two and two together easily enough. The reports of a white chocobo, the growing tide of chaos and monsters. All are clear signs that the end of the world is upon us. Not only that, amidst all the portents, I hear rumors of a young woman warrior with rose-colored hair. A description that matches that of the white chocobo's master in some of the tales. And just as I was pondering that, you show up. Why, it had to be destiny! It could be a lot of things, but you believe what you want. Oh, I will. I have long known that the milk I made here would change the fate of the world. You are the one chosen by the angel. You change the world with every encounter, with every decision. Our meeting here was no accident. Some of that to the chocobo. Come on, you can do it. I have no idea where to go from here to help help this bird get stronger. Also, why don't you have a gate here to keep these things in? Yes? The hunters often drop by Canopus Farms. They go there to pick up supplies of Ghazal Green. Though people eat, the hunters of Yod ride chocobos when they go off to fight. They even have a chocobo. Okay, so... Where was that again? Enjoy your stay. The hunters often drop by can they go there to oh. though people eat the hunters of Yacht. They even have a
help if you can. Get back to where you belong. My tears fall into the chaos. has a price. Eyes to the future. Evil has a price. Time to repent. It wasn't super hard. Your chocobo is looking so much better. Chocobos can jump much higher. Although, don't... By the way, I've been meaning to ask you. I didn't hear the voice, but I do remember a strange... Is that so? I don't know, but it felt more like a memory. Allies in battle, you mean? Or perhaps you were a chocobo yourself. In some other time, you and he gambled across. But whatever the truth... I am a humble visitor. Alright, well... I guess I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna look up what I do now. So... Goodbye.